So welcome back again, guys. If you want to communicate to the bus, you just whistle and you'll hear them talk like. Yes, that's a good example. The singing everywhere. So there are various kinds of birds in the forest. Unless you know how to communicate them is when you can see them. But when you just walk around, they just keep quiet and run away. So it is good when they realize that you are not a predator. They just sing around and sing and sing and sing. So let's get closer and see. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Adventure Sagas. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I'm here right in the village. I am so happy. Yesterday was my birthday. Thank you for those of you who wished me a good and a happy birthday. Hello and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who've been subscribing and liking and sharing my videos, thank you so much. I'm here to hear the sounds of the birds, guys. So let's get along. Let's walk in the bush and hear the sounds of various insects as well as birds in the neighborhood so see this the jungle it has very amazing sounds so let's get along and hear the sounds of various birds and insects slowly and find another position so that we can sing again for them now they are scared of me it seems they have discovered i'm not one of them let me find a perfect position so that i can hide myself and then I can whistle again for them. You can hear them from a distance. Can hear them. Let's walk slowly. This is a perfect position. And now there is silence in the jungle. It might be they are thinking that I'm a predator. Yes. You can hear the kiwi bird. Wow. Swag. Just continue walking around in the forests. You can hear that again. Let me just walk closer to them. You can hear that right up there.
listen to the sounds of the bus. You can hear the sound of the eagle. Kick, 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 kick. That's the sound of the eagle. One of the leading predators that eat birds and prey on birds. So whenever the sound is heard, all the birds will run away. That's it. The sound of keyboard. Ah. You can hear that. Hear that again? So most of the birds are feeding on small insects, nuts, berries, fruits, wild fruits. They're also feeding on vegetables that we grow. We feed on maize, corn, and every sweet kind of fruits and berries. <laughs> You can hear whistling from every part of the corner. The jungle is their home. And they must be enjoying so much because everything is organic and fresh. Not like human beings. Sometimes we lack food. Sometimes... Uh, we grow genetically modified food and that's harmful to our bodies. But birds, they feed on leaves, insects, fresh produces, fresh, everything is fresh. So let's get, let's walk in the forest and see. So these are cypresses. We grow them for our personal use. Yes, you can hear those ones singing. So we have small paths along the forest that we follow. 
also so animal trails. Whenever they are grazing around, they follow these paths. You can hear that. Every time you imitate the sound of any bird and from a distance you hear them responding and in the same same manner. Down here you can hear the sounds of the insects. Can hear that. <coughs> See this kind of tree. Very huge tree. Indigenous, one of the indigenous trees here. So we have various incredible sounds of birds which are very melodious to listen to and very very soft uh, unique sounds so sometimes it is good to take a walk in the jungle listen to the sounds of the birds and you feel good so I've heard some sound of the bird there I just want to move closer and Hear it, you hear it? Listen to that.
you can hear that yes very incredible sound the bird has run away because they have seen me all this is a jungle undisturbed home for various animals home for all kinds of birds very very cool we also have animals around some people graze animals around Just by watching the freshness, the greenness, it feels so good to be in the village and enjoy all this kind of freshness, pure and uh, clean air to breathe right here in the hood. Perfect, you can hear that another unique bird singing. You can hear that again. Very melodious and incredible sounds. So after listening to the sounds of the birds and the insects, I decided to go to the upper part of the farm. So let's I'm move. To check out the trees and I show you and how the maize maize farm. up there are doing. So I'm going up there where you see the bananas. Just want to check that the, the condition is good and uh, no animals are penetrating and damaging the crops. So these are the tea plantations. We plant tea here. We also do uh, uh, farming, a bit of uh, farming. We plant crops for our own consumption. So let's get and pass to the higher part of the property and see. So slowly and slowly I move to the other upper part and these are the tea plantations for those of you who haven't uh, been closer to the tea, plant tea plantation, this is how they look. So they look like um, a grassland, uh, freshly uh, cut grass because of the table. So we grow tea in our part of your land and this is how they look. So this has been harvested and um, we put them on a mess so that all the teas are on one level for easy harvesting. So up there, I want to check the condition of the maize that have been grown up there. So let's get slowly and move there and see how they are doing.
So here we have arrived. We are welcomed by uh, this is uh, the one of the fruits that is very favorable here. We eat them. So we call it malenga in our own language. We just have a look at it. We eat the leaves and we also eat the the fruit itself. It's called pumpkin in English. So these are the maize that I planted three months ago. Yes, they are really doing good. You can see we have uh, in each uh, stock we have two pieces of maize. And this is a good harvest. So you can see them. Uh, good. They are doing so well. And uh, in a month's time we'll have an harvest. And we can... Um, have food for the rest of the year so right here we have a banana we also grow banana in our farm as you can see here these are all for our uh, own consumption at home home use because our farms are very fertile and good and we have enough rainfall so we have to plant our crops for our own consumption so that every time we don't go to the market to source them so just look at them. We are so lucky and privileged to have such kind of a climate and soils that is so favorable. All these crops, we don't uh, apply irrigation. We don't water them. We only depend on rainfall that is sufficient throughout the year. And they are able to grow and are able to have food. I wish each and every part of the country would have such kind of climate so that we can have uh, food security. We can have enough food for ourselves and the rest. So the maize are doing so well. Each stock is having two pieces of maize. This is a good harvest. Sometimes they have three as on rare occasions, but two is a perfect and a good harvest. So you can see. Slowly you see. These are also vegetables. You see them with the pinkish, the overgrown vegetables that we grow on our farm. And up here we have grasses for our animal. This is napier grass that has overgrown. Soon we'll cut them and feed them on our animals. We have cows that they eat these kinds of food. As you can see, it's looking really... Uh, good so we do mixed farming we plant tea we plant maize we plant grass for our animals we plant vegetables we keep chicken all these are for home uh, home use so we are self-sustainable we buy a little from the market we thank god for that so the maize here are doing good they are growing so well. This year we expect a, a good harvest. The bananas here are also doing so good. These are the plantain. The kind of bananas that we we cook them, we don't they don't get ripened. We just cook them for food. We also have sweet bananas. This is another farm where we have grown corn. They're also doing so well. Just look at it. They're in a different stage with the, the rest. They just finished uh, flowering. And I, the, the maize inside are developing. So just a few months. And they will be ready for roasting, for boiling. And eventually we will, it, they will dry and we will grind them and create a flour to cook our favorite delicacy known as ugali. As well as again use them as animal feeds, chicken feed. So they have so many uses. The stalks that you see, we feed them on our cattle. The leaves, we feed them on our cattle. The maize stalks, we feed them on our cattle. And the... Uh, maize itself the grains themselves we use them as food for our animals chicken ourselves everything feeds on that 
so this is how we do it right in the farm look at this one it's looking very good it is on the final stage of flowering and soon we will have a very good harvest slowly i move and capture this for you you can see the flowers they are purple very beautiful and incredible so we thank god for the good climate that we have right here on the village i wish each and every part of the continent would be as this as beautiful as this so let's continue watching and liking and sharing please subscribe to the channel adventure sagas support the channel we just hit 500 subscribers let's take it to 1000 subscribers let's support one another support one another by watching the video from start to stop you also leave a sweet comment like it share it and any comment that you feel will help me to grow just drop it down on the comment always ring the notification bell so that every time i upload a video you are able to see it let's catch up another day so guys behind me these are the corn the maize that we plant here we are almost ripping them eating them so i just want to thank you for always coming along watching my video please let's continue supporting one another like it share it and uh, subscribe to the channel for those of you who haven't subscribed let's get along every time thank you let's catch up on another episode bye